Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry that it has been so long in between videos, but I have a very exciting life update for you guys, and that is that I quit my full-time job, and I'm now going to be doing this properly and consistently. There is going to be regular videos every single week, a lot more consistency, um, a lot more content, which is exciting for me and hopefully exciting for you guys as well. Um, so stay tuned and obviously subscribe if you want to continue watching us. Um, but I do know that we were very much overdue for a follow update video. Um, little Tic Tac has been growing incredibly quickly. She is now two months old, which is crazy. The time, you guys, has gone so quick. It was just so high stress waiting for her to be born and now it's just like so nice to be able to enjoy it. But it is going so quickly and she's grown so much. I am starting to wonder if she's more of a dressage horse than an inventor because man she is so chunky i'll show you guys in a sec she is getting so big basically for the last couple of weeks we've started to do some more basic handling and training with her so i thought it'd be a fun vlog for you guys to come and kind of see where she's at as of yet she hasn't been halter trained we have started the process um, but today is going to be the first time that she actually has to wear one properly. We do need to start progressing to leading because I need to be able to get her out to our paddocks which are further out the back and it's kind of not really the situation where I can just trust her to follow Peach. So this is the beginnings of the process so hopefully, fingers crossed, she goes pretty well. Hey, we tic tac. You're eating my hair. Hi. Hello. Hello. Say hello to everyone. Hmm? You're going to be a very big girl today. We're going to try our first ever halter, which is very exciting. Very exciting for the little lips. So cute. She actually has her first teeth now, too, which I wonder if I can show them to you. Do you want to show everyone your teeth? Do you want to show everyone your little baby teeth? I know you want to. Beautiful girl. Can you share your teeth? No. No, she's shy about her teeth. Basically, like this is the yard that they go into every day. Um, originally, I thought that we would be able to keep them in here for a bit longer than what we have. Unfortunately, we had insane rain and they had a day where they ran around quite a bit and as you can see this thing is destroyed unfortunately so at the moment it's kind of pushed me to oh look at that one over there eating my tripod thank you which basically is why i'm now training tic tac to wear a halter and to be led so they are going to hopefully be able to relocate during the day to the paddock we've got at the back which have got a lot more grass and also have the full safe fencing and gate i guess the only upside really is that we do have these little yards off the side um it's not covered by a fall fencing so i've only been putting them in here when um when i know i'm going to be here all day so i can keep an eye on this naughty one because as you can see she's very curious about the fencing just in case you guys are wondering too the electric fence is not on The one good thing I've realized about TikTok is that she really likes to be scratched. So that's helped us do a lot of the training. It's a little bit of a positive reinforcement. So we've done a little bit with towels. As you can see, it helps. She's very curious. So it's not that hard to introduce her to new things. Um, but this is kind of, I guess, like the beginning of rug training in a way. Um, so I've just been using a towel. And basically when it goes on, we get scratches because we're just positive reinforcing it. Nothing to be scared of. And then we take it away once she's had a nice reaction to it. So if she tries to get away from it or freak out, we just wait a second. And when she relaxes and she's happy, then we get rid of it again. And she took to this pretty quickly. She had to because they obviously it's quite wet at the moment. So they're coming in at night and they've got a ton of mud on them. So I have to get them used to the towels. 
still tries to run occasionally, but overall she's doing really well. So it also has to go on her legs, around up onto her body. Good girl. So this she's getting pretty good at now. Obviously it's a lot easier in the stable because she can't run. Hey, that's right, isn't it? You can see the little lips go. She loves. Good girl. This is the other thing we've been working on, which is like the foal grab, which now is getting a little bit stronger and opinionated is another reason that we need to hold to train her. Because I need to be able to control you. And you're growing very quickly. Hey? Good girl. The one reason I think that TikTok is getting so chunky is that as well as obviously nursing from Peach, she is already eating a lot of grass um, and she definitely shares a lot of her mum's food at night as well. Mostly the hay. She only likes to take a few mouthfuls of the hard feed, um, but she will go to town on Peach's loose and hay. It's just really interesting. Like I feel like she's not going to be the hardest horse to wean diet wise because she's very much um, already, as you can see, <laughs> very used to being self-sufficient hence why it's been able to put so much weight on so quickly it's just crazy look at her legs they're literally as long as her mum's so that's a good sign look at them they're literally like matte like one of those is peaches one of them is tic tacs they literally have the same size legs now which is good so i mean she's going to be at least as big as peach um but i keep on measuring her and it still looks like she's going to be taller we're still predicting that she's going to get to 15, 3, 16 hands, so fingers crossed she does because that would be a really nice size. So the other thing we have been practicing a bit because the farrier does need to start trimming her feet basically as of now, just like a regular horse, is she had to learn to pick up her feet. Now she is pretty good with it. Um, usually a <laughs> good girl in exchange for scratches. She is quite good with it, which is really nice. It wasn't the easiest thing to teach, I have to say. And she does try to nibble me as I'm going around. Oh, God, this is like the cutest thing. So I give her scratches and then she gives mum scratches. So everybody's getting scratches. Oh, yash. Oh, yeah. See, Peach, I'm such a good babysitter. I know. I'm such a good babysitter. <laughs> so cute. All right. So this is the big moment. We have been practicing this part. So we kind of are pretty used to that. We haven't really had this properly on on just yet. Let's go ahead and just see. Let me just do this up fairly firmly. Good girl. So you don't want to have anything too loose, just in case they try and put their foot through it. Wow, good girl. Hey. So I'm trying to make this very positive experience right now. And this little one loves her miracle brush, as you can see from the lip. So I just want to make it very positive. Having a halter on is like super fun because we get scratches when we've got our halter on. Okay, I can't believe how good she's being right now. This is literally the first time she's ever had a halter on, guys. Dealing with it really well so far. Oh yeah, big itches. Yeah. You look nice and black. These are like the other little things we've been working on is <laughs> Oh yeah, show your mum, what are you wearing? Look Pete. She's ready to go. Uh, yeah, so we've been working on being able to brush her legs and things like that too because obviously that is very important as well. I'm trying to desensitize her to all those kinds of things. And overall she's been really good. Um, we, are, even though it was unlucky the time of year that she was born, being so cold, it's being able to stable her every night means that she's literally being handled um, and doing all these lessons every single day because we literally have to. Um, so it's kind of like a good excuse just to get her used to all these things early on um, and it's worked quite well to be honest it means that even at two months of age um, despite not being halter trained she is very used to human contact um, and all the things that a horse needs to get used to like being groomed um, and being moved around having its legs and its face touched which are very 
sensitive areas. So it has been beneficial in a way. Even though I think being born in the spring would be a lot easier, don't you think, you see me? Good girl! Me, she wants more green. So we'll do more because she's been such a good girl. It's her first time in the halter. Leading will be a bit more interesting, but <laughs> this has gone quite well so far. Okay. You might give a bit more of an opinion when it comes to the leading part, I feel like. So she's been in the halter for, I would say, about 10 minutes and she's reacted really well to it. So I'm probably going to take it off now and just call it a day um, because foals do have a very short attention span. Um, good girl. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. Get it off me. Good girl. Very good girl. Hey, okay. that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. You want to bite it now? Good girl. Good girl. Look at this horse. Peach, you gotta stop lying in the mud all the time. Look at you. You're so dusty. I literally have to like head to toe groom her every single night that she comes into the stables because this is just her every day. It's so bad. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then be sure to subscribe to us and follow us on Instagram at handodequestrian. And of course, like I said, there are gonna be more consistent videos, which is very exciting.